Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today I want to share with you one of the dirtiest fast cycle decks in Clash Royale right now. Right here is a 3.0 Elixir Royal Giant Execution of NATO Earthquake deck, very similar to the deck I did a video on a couple weeks ago, but this one right here, guys, is actually being used at the top of ladder in Grand Challenge League. Right here, guys. Are the stats of the deck according to Royale API? It's been used for over 5,000 battles recently in the game, with the highest trophy player being over 7,700 trophies in Ultimate Champion League. So, this deck has the seal of approval in Ultimate Champion, guys. Very interesting, very nasty deck. RG Cycle, like I said before, it's very similar to the deck I did a video on uh, a couple weeks ago. That one had no earthquake, it had to make a minion. So a couple of changes overall, but uh, this one right here, guys, obviously is being used. Are you kidding me? Freaking P.E.K.K.A. Are you kidding me, dude? What is this? <laughs> I feel like I always get a hard counter the very first battle that I do uh, in, my, in a video. You know? Or am I just crazy? There we go. Nice. That's something. It's something, but P.E.K.K.A. does destroy the RG pretty badly, to be honest. So, this should be a pretty interesting battle here, boys. Got Knight. Interesting. And a freaking Balloon? Are you kidding me? What is the guy doing? He's got a Balloon in there. It's, it's, what? It's, balloon, Mortar, P.E.K.K.A.? This guy must not like me. Nice. Oh, yes. Get it, Executioner. Guys, look how much damage Executioner do. One shot is like a thousand damage by the Executioner right there. Um, but this is going to be an interesting battle. We only have one air defense card in our deck. The Executioner. He's got RG, or Pekka, which destroys the RG. RG destroys the Mortar. But, uh... Overall, it's going to be interesting, dude. We'll kind of see how it goes. I don't want to use the RG slow cycle because obviously he has uh, the P.E.K.K.A. I'm going to go Earthquake here for that Mortar. Some tower damage done. And we cannot, we basically just can't go RG right now. What do you got? Do what do you got? One of these. Balloon should die. Nice, yes. Alrighty, sir. There's your P.E.K.K.A. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming, dude. Thank you. Gonna get an Executioner here and Fast Cycle if we need to back to another Executioner. He's gonna Fireball that one. Huh. I'm okay with that Earthquake here. RG here, please. Come on, baby. Where's your peck on my dude? The Knight gets her, guys. The RG gets one shot to the tower. Plus the log equals one more shot equals a dead tower potentially with my executioner cleaning house over here, destroying that P.E.K.K.A., destroying that stuff. NATO in this uh, balloon back right here, boys. Oh, good game. Good game. What even was his deck, dude? What even was his deck? Ay, ay, ay. Anyways, uh, what I wanted to say before I forgot was... What did you guys think of the recent card reveal slash leak earlier on today with the, um... Oh, did you see that new animation? The way trophies kind of float into your trophy thing? That's kind of cool. Um, also, one more thing you might not have noticed, guys. Look at this. Check this out. Get Pass Royale right now. What does it say right here? Pass Royale includes... Look at the very bottom. Tier chest, Q chest, golden name. Gives free gifts to climate. What is that? What is the gifts free gifts to, cl to climates? That's new. So I, I found that today and I thought maybe I should share it with you guys. The free gifts to climates. We'll kind of see how that works. Uh, I'm, assuming, I'm assuming next season. But uh, yeah. Uh, anyways. What do you think of the Elixir Golem? Three Elixir. Gives your opponent four. But it's worth a lot. It's kind of an interesting little... Uh, interesting little mechanic. Now, ooh. I could have gone RG on the right. For counter pressure. But I don't know, dude. Would that have been a smarter play or it's not smart play? 
I do not like facing Labahound decks with one air defense card. Especially when you have, like, Earthquake. Here we go. One of these. Oh my goodness! Did you see? Did you see? The Executioner just literally wiped the, the Lava Pops off the face of the planet right there, boys. Executioner one shot, baby. Oh yes. Literally 600 damage in one shot. That is what you call the OP. Now, if I go Royal Giant right here, is he back? Is he back to Barbarians? And does he have... Whoa, whoa, sir. No. I was going to go RG there, but I didn't want to push into the Lava Hound and then have the whole counter push come back at me. So, I don't know. This is going to be risky. We'll kind of see how it goes, boys. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. One of these. Nice. <laughs> Look at that. Just destroy everything. Poor dude. Poor dude. Executioner is OP, OP, OP. Now, I could go Knight there, but he can easily surround everything with the barbs. So instead, we're just going to go, he's going to go Log. We're going to get two Executioner shots, which by itself is a thousand damage. And I kind of want to go, hmm. Knight RG here. Ice Pit for the barbs. Get a Log Ray for some Barbarians right here, boys. There we go. One RG shot, one more. We need one more, one more RG. There we go, thank you. Much appreciate, RG. Much appreciate indeed. This here, this here. Ice bread here, please. I'll just back here, please. It is back here, please. Oh, it's so dead. And the lava pups are dead as well. The lava pups are dead. They just got destroyed, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is my evil villain laugh. Look at this, guys. The Executioner literally... I just I used that joke. I can't use it again. I was going to say wipe the Barbarians off the face of the planet, but I just used that one for that pup, so I got to think of new material. Anyways, good game. Well played. GG's, man. I got one little mustache here kind of tickling my mouth, just in case you guys were curious. In case you guys were sitting there one day wondering, Hey, Shane, how's the mustache going? And I would say, I, m I must ask you a question. Uh, I must ask you a question. Get it? Moustache? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In case you guys are wondering, yes, I am a father. Which is why my jokes are so lame. It just it happens to you. Whenever you become a dad, it's like your jokes just become instantly lame. It's just the way it works. Anyways. Oh, sir. Activate my king tower here, please. Don't mind if I do. Miner. Moiner. Moiner. Oh no, he's got in front of the dragon. We have no reset for the Inferno D. Watch out for those Ds, boys. They'd be Inferno today. Nice. No, the knight. It was so dumb. Why did I go knight? I was so dumb. I hate be dumb. Actually. Hmm. One of these? One of these? Yes! 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 And more double yeses, guys. That was perfection in its finest form right there. I do not think we can get the Royal Giant down in time. So we shall just go Ice Spirit right here. Get some guards. Gonna log back the guards here for some chip damage. The biggest issue here is he's got a ton of RG counters. He's got Goblin Cage and Infernal Dragon, both of which do work against my. Uh... Gonna earthquake this. I don't. It's not really value. But what that does is kind of forces the Goblin Cage out of his rotation, and prevents it from supporting his Lava Hound if I use it right. Meow. So instead, I'm gonna go RG right here, baby. Executioner Rod here, baby. And we target the Infernal D, guys. That's exactly what I want to do right there, guys. That is quite literally perfection 
in its finest formation. Right there, boys. The Executioner's just destroying everything! He's so beasty! Look at this! The double Executioner's all the way across the sky. Check that out, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, sir. You think you can go opposite lane on me? You think you can go opposite lane on me? I invented the opposite lane pressure, my dude. Here we go. Nice. Actually, you are getting some good work done there, boy. But I am back to another executioner. Oh, we can almost three crown him. Why didn't they go for a more aggressive plays, guys? We could have almost three crowned him right there, boys. A thousand health on his tower there, boys and girls. Gotta make sure I say boys and girls nowadays. But, uh, look at this. Look at the trophies. See that animation? The way they kind of float into your trophy count? Kind of cool, right? Kind of cool. I just got this. Oh, look at the, the new Q button. That's cool. They still... I mean, they, they, okay, so they changed the color of the Q and the open now. Uh, buttons. Which is, uh, which is a start. But they should have switched the, uh, the, the left to right kind of thing, right? They, so they aren't right next to each other. But I got this chest today, Mega Lightning Chest. I was really happy with it because obviously uh, I'm going to be saving it for the new card. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Over here, boom. Free gifts to clanmates. I don't know what that is, but uh, sounds cool. Sounds cool. Alrighty, boys and girls. Whoa, 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 cancel. I want to see one thing over here, guys. We are uh, we're doing pretty well so far. We're doing pretty well. Anyways, I just wanted to look at my battle log before we lose a game. So I can see three wins in a row before we lose. But, uh, yeah. What do you guys think of Elixir Golem? What do you guys think of uh, September update overall? Party mode? I think party mode's pretty cool. I'm really happy with it. It gives everyone a casual play option to get those chest slots filled. Which I think is definitely a cool feature. I'm just... I'm really hoping the next update has something big and game-changing. Like, Pass Royale is cool. Don't get me wrong. I love Pass Royale. Great feature, offers insane value for the majority of players. I just feel like... I just feel like... We need something that's like... Bigger. We need the actual in-battle experience to be different. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to go into a battle and have a different, like, just a different feeling. All these new game features are awesome. Uh, Trophy Road. Uh, what do you call it? Pass Royale. Party Mode. But the actual in-battle experience has been largely the same. For a while now. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know. It'd be cool to see something's changed up. The biggest thing I'm looking for uh, in 2020, I guess is a um, is a clan war revamp number one clan war revamp and i want heroes i think now is the time i think are you freaking kidding me we use pekka and rg at the same time that sucks dude we're so dead holy man oh man oh me oh my that sucks dude One of these. What? Execution doesn't splash that? Are you kidding me? Is this real life here? What you got, dude? What you got? Nice. Nice prediction, Shane. He's got a freaking P.E.K.K.A. How do we get past a P.E.K.K.A., dude? Here we go. Nice freeze that. He just logs it back. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Just here. Let's wait this. Nice. Executioner here. One of these. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Nice, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. RG here. 
Gonna lock it back right now. Gonna go Ice Spirit here. Earthquake this, Jazz. Ah. Nothing for those stupid, uh, that's bats. It's here. Let's go. One of these. This is gonna be a tough battle, dude. He's got relatively fast cycle as well. Where's your P.E.K.K.A, dude? Where's your P.E.K.K.A? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> yes. Yes. No, 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 no. I meant no. I didn't mean yes. Get out of there. No, 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 no. We're so dead. Stupid uh, bats. Stupid skeletons. Stupid uh, uh, musketeer. Oh, earthquake. Yes. Come on. Yes. We win. 10 health. What in the world? That was so close. That was so close. Wow. Wow. Freaking wow, dude. That was insane. I dare say that was insane. Fast Cycle P.E.K.K.A. versus Fast Cycle R.G. How did I win that? Because typically you would say versus P.E.K.K.A. You, you know, you, you have 3.0 Cycle. Out cycle his Pekka, right? That's typically what you think. But look at his deck. Look how fast it is. I just go on Skeleton's Bats, right? Like, he's got a fairly fast cycle deck as well. So, out cycling that Pekka was insane. But we still won, dude. We're undefeated so far. Man, this deck is nasty. Wow. Alright, guys. Let's go ahead here. Finish the video off with a couple of replays as we usually do. Uh, the first replay of which we're facing up against my D. Okay? Now... This is uh, a very difficult battle because I always have a hard time with my D. You know? You know what I'm saying, guys? <laughs> Sorry, I was going to keep that joke going for a bit, but I, I couldn't stop laughing. Anyways, let's just keep going. Let's just, let's just pretend nothing happened. So we're going to go execution here on the right for the, um, for the Barbarians and the Musketeer. He locks it back, uh, and then, yeah, it's all dead. So it's pretty good. Now, I could have actually snuck in an RG in front of that. Unfortunately, we did not. But thankfully, we do go Earthquake right here. Ice Spirit freezes the tower. And we actually get one Executioner shot at one health. Because the uh, because the Earthquake slows down the tower, plus the Ice Spirit freeze, was obviously enough time for the uh, for the thing to get some damage done, which is 600 damage per shot. So any anytime you can get one Executioner shot, go for it. It does so much damage. Now, right here, we get three RG shots to the tower. Now, typically, if you go RG into Barbarians, it's a very bad play. You never want to do that because the counter push is insane. However, I know the Executioner cleans up those Barbarians super fast. So, I'm not too worried about the Barbarians and the counter push because I had the Executioner in my deck. If I didn't have Executioner, maybe if I had, like, I don't know. Musketeer instead. I would not be going aggressive uh, RG like that. Now, Earthquake here destroys his furnace and his tower. I went fire emote there because I'm assuming he tried to place his furnace out of tower range, but it didn't work out. And take a look at that pro defense there, guys. One Elixir Skeleton in the middle there, defending both lands, goblins, and fire spirits to perfection. Uh, this, this battle right here, guys, overall is just perfection in its finest form. Gonna go Executioner here on the right to destroy the Barbarians and the Bats. Knight up front to save some health on our uh, RG. And the Barbarians get literally melted by the Executioner. Musketeer's dead as well. Earthquake destroys the Furnace. Guys, look at this. This is just so perfect. We're just going through everything. We're just cutting through his defense, guys. Like butter right there. And uh, unfortunately, my D is not having a good time today, guys. My D is not having a good time at all today. Uh, <laughs> let's just say, let's just put it this way, guys. My D has had better days. All right? Let's just say my D has had better days than today because uh, he's getting destroyed right now. But, uh, yeah, uh, RG gets some work done there. Guys, we actually ignore that barrel there. We're going to go RG in the pocket. Uh, that way, if there, you know, if we did have more time for whatever reason, we can get a two crown. But, uh, yeah. We do get, we do settle here for a, a one crown victory. Um, 
over my opponent, Tundra, guys. GG's, well played. Alrighty, guys, one more replay over here against a uh, another bait deck, but more of a traditional log bait. I don't think we face any log bait in the uh, in the live battle, so maybe it's a good thing we have it in here. Anyway, I'm gonna go log here. Actually, no log, because for some reason the game's like, Shane, you have log in your deck. You're facing Goblin Barrel deck. I'm gonna give your opponent Goblin Barrel first play, and I'm gonna give you log, not in your opening rotation, and uh, good luck. That's exactly what the game had said to me right there, guys. But anyways, the executioner gets some work done here. We're gonna log back the prince to reset his charge with some skeletons up front. And by skeletons, I mean RG. And uh, we get a little bit of damage down here, guys. We NATO everything together. We kill some goblins. We kill some rascals. We get some RG damage done. Tower down to 2400 health, which uh, is decent damage. Decent damage. However, in the process there, we logged and NATO'd on offense. So we don't really have the best answer there for the barrel. So we take a little bit of damage, I believe, but the Skeleton's Ice Spirit is okay as well. Um, he, he does kind of catch on, I believe, later on in the battle here. If you're like a log bait user and your opponent has Skeletons or Ice Spirit, you kind of have to use the barrel at the front of the tower and then go like Barrel Princess or Barrel Log. Anyways, Executioner here. One more log to reset the um, the uh, the Prince Charge. And uh, gonna go... I think RG up here. No, just Earthquake. No, just Skeletons. No, just NATO. Just NATO. Third time's a charm, baby. So, once again, not ideal. Because, uh, like I say, oops. I got no log, no NATO. Uh, we take a little bit of damage to our tower. One Goblin there attacking. Yeah, maybe the log wasn't necessary. But against these log bait decks, you have to be careful. Because if you give them too much chip damage, then they can just kind of rocket you down at the end. So, you to be very, very careful with that. Knight going in there gets one shot to the tower, which I'm definitely okay with. Gonna go Executioner here. I always try to use my Executioner a bit away from my tower, because that way, like, I know he's got Rocket in his deck, pretty much. And, uh, that way, if he does Rocket, hopefully he'll miss me. We're gonna go RG here. We ignore the Princess right lane for now. He just logged left lane, which means we are good to go. Look at this pre-log here, guys. Destroys the Goblin Gang. I know his log is out of, rot is out of rotation. So now we can go Skeleton to the right to kill the Princess. And uh, we're going to go uh, Ice Spirit Log here for those Goblin Barrels. And his tower left lane gets us at 465 health. One Earthquake going down right now. And all we need is two Earthquakes to win, guys. And we can bust out a dub. Um, execution doing some work there. Skeleton's going down. I think we can log right here as well for the Goblin Barrel. Then we're going to go Knight up front or Ice Spirit here with a... Um, with one more Earthquake, and then we, bust, we, then we then we just bust out the one crown victory, guys, over a log bait deck. It's insane how much damage the Earthquake does uh, for three Elixir, but honestly, it's a pretty cool card to use, so definitely okay with it. But anyways, guys, good game uh, to our opponent up top there. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Here is the deck one more time if you want to go ahead and try it out yourself. Like I said before, it's being used over 7,700 trophies right now in Ultimate Champion League. We did pretty well with it today, guys. We actually didn't lose a single live battle today in this video. So definitely okay with the result of that. That last battle was definitely pretty difficult. 10 health left, guys. Ay, ay, ay. Way too close for comfort. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the Elixir Golem reveal from earlier on today. Uh, do you think the card will be strong, weak, or balanced? But guys, that is the end of the video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to my college world content. Thank you so much for watching. We shall see you in the next one.